Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 3 of Diablo 4 Player Tries Path of Exile for the first time. In this video, I'm going to go through Act 3. I'm going to try and complete it. Well, I am going to complete it, and my editor is going to have to deal with the hours of footage, so it's not my problem. That's okay. Uh, this is a series that I've been completely bullied into by the Path of Exile community, who have asked me many, many times through my comments to continue this series. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks for showing up and watching these videos. So, let's get started. Last Last time I played, I unlocked Act 3. I unlocked the Sarm Encampment, which is a town. I'm excited about that. I hope I'll get to change my playthrough a bit more this time around, as I really didn't last time. It was just no changes whatsoever. Uh, the last game I played, the last Act 2 that I played, got my water bottle. I've got my tea. <sighs> Ready to go. First thing I want to do is I'm going to pick up all the quests from town. Find Tolman and the Crematarium. I think that'll be the first one I do. Let's go for that one. Ballista, Ballista. There we go. Ballistas just do the job. I'm not going to pick up everything because the inventory management part of this game annoys me. The same way it annoys me in Diablo, to be fair. Just have too many choices. I need a bit of hand holding, I guess. It's also nice to see that the enemies have changed between Act 2 and Act 3. Like in Act 2, I was very excited about the monkeys and all that. And here it's all about the beetles. I don't mind, I like a good change, you know? Some games just have, wait, sorry, I can't talk, can't talk, I'm gonna die, all right. They froze me immediately, what was I supposed to do? So as I was saying, some games, they don't really change the assets so often. Might be a money thing or a time thing. While reading the comments of the other videos, I realized that apparently elemental resistance is a thing that I should be keeping an eye on. Maybe putting some points in vital vitality as soon as I can. The thing is, yeah, I don't want to read any guides. That's the whole point of these videos. I don't read any guides. I just let the game guide me. See if it does a good job at onboarding. It's been a mixed bag to be fair. This level design is quite fun. Like a flat map, but they make it interesting by putting you on the, not the ceilings, but the, the top of all these buildings. The roofs, that's the name. Crematarium, found it. Oh, cool, waypoint. I didn't pick all of those up in act two and that was an error, that was a problem. Ballista, ballista. I'm also gonna try and spend a bit more time looking at all these small elements that I've picked up, like orb of transmution, transmution, transfusion, stuff like that. Oh, I didn't realize I didn't have my poison thing active. Yes, that's so cool. And that's really unique. The, the idea that you're able to summon anything without being like a necromancer or a hunter. That's kind of fun. Kind of a cool mechanic. I like it. There's so much freedom. That's what I'm getting out of this game so far. Like not much hand holding for sure, but there's also a lot of freedom. I'm about to die. What's going on here? Flaming garden, whispering essence of hatred. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there you go. Whispering Essence of Hatred. That's the thing that I picked up. Upgrade to normal item to rare. Okay, pick it up. I'm seeing a lot of icons on my map. What's this? Okay, this, so this is another challenge. It's a good thing that they have these challenges. Wait. There it is. Just not sure what... Ballista, Ballista. I didn't expect the Ballistas to be such a huge part of my build. Does that make sense? I thought I'd just keep them for a bit and then we'll see. But no, they've been really helpful. Oh my god. The damage is real. Oh, let me die. No. There you go, got him. I got a boot knife, which I'll never be able to use because I can't respec. Yeah. Oh, this is a item that looks better than the one I have. Evasion rating 60, 77. Okay, yeah, that's a better one. So I'll just do this. Oh, and it has two green sockets, which means I'll be able to put another one in. Awesome. So I need to kill Piety and she is kicking my ass. And I don't want to die. Ballista, Ballista, they keep doing my job better than I could. Ballista, Ballista. Did she leave? Is she gone? Whew. Lucky me. Oh, he's dead. Does everybody have to die in this game? <laughs> uh, I got the amulet. Okay, so I need to bring back the amulet to the encampment. That should do the job. Projectile pierce to... Oh, so I'm piercing here. Okay, I will get to life eventually, but these stats are just too good to, to be true. And I unlocked a recipe for something. What is it? I don't know. How to get back to town. Oh, right. I've been playing a lot of Diablo 4 recently, trying to get to level 100. So what in the world? What even is that? An eye with wings. You know what this tells me? This tells me I've spent two hundred dollars plus on this game oh okay okay this is an important one because I, I have no blues i have lots of blue potential but i've got no blue gems so despair curse all targets in an area lowering their chaos resistance so this is an actual spell and i don't have space for spells anymore what about green anything good these are spells i'd rather have a support kind of thing cast an aura that grants evasion to you and your allies eh, cast an aura that grants extra cold damage they're very specific, but not to me. Curse is a single enemy, and if you hit him, it grants you flask charges, and it puts caustic ground next to them if you poison them. You can only have one mark at a time. This is the alchemist's mark, and I have to go assassinate a general. That's thematic. You know what's also thematic? Or should I say not thematic? Every freaking microtransaction in this game. I no longer dream. 
Oh my god, this guy's messed up. I like how you can spam spam. Yes, yes, yes. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. There you go. Sell items. And I think items are not class based. They're more like stats based. So, for example, this um, had a jacket requires intelligence, which makes me believe that it's for sorcerers of some sorts. I say that I could be just completely wrong, of course, as I often am. So, oh, so th this is a player. Cool. They look cool with the kind of the Greek kind of vibe. I like it. It was actually three players in one. I've been bamboozled. Okay, time to take this series and travel more. Continue our travels, I should say. I don't need this dagger. No, not the crematorium. No, uh, think before you click. That's what I'll say about this game. Oh, I see, I forgot the slums. I don't have the slums. So I have to go to the crematorium, which is fine. And then I'll go to the slums through this one. Slums unlocked. And now I need to go northwest, I believe. If I look at my map, yeah, northwest. The sewers. Am I supposed to go through the sewers? Okay, let's check the map to make sure. Oh yeah, there you go. I'm in the right place, I think. Argon wants you to find the three platinum busts scattered through the sewers. Great, I'm going to spend quite a bit of time here. Silver coin creates a portal to the halls of the dead. All right, that's a thing I haven't really looked into so far. But I am level 29, which means I get an extra point. Where do I want to put it? Oh, projectile mastery, bow mastery. Uh, I don't know. Do I master, do I put efforts into mastery or do I go for life because I keep getting boned. So maybe life is where it's at. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go south looking for health. Sorry, I'm still seeing a lot of uh, rogue stuff. Okay, yeah, this is where I need to go. Okay, I've made my decision. I will go south. I would love some attack speed. It's all about the attack speed. Iron grip support. Support attack skills that fire projectiles, making the, the increase of physical melee damage from strength also increases their physical damage as well. Strength damage bonus applies to projectile attack. Okay, I don't have much strength though. Not very strong. Okay, I found one bust. Time to find the other busts. Find a way to destroy the undying blockage. Looks like my toilet to be fair. Oh, cool, found the waypoint. That's two. I do enjoy leveling gems. I feel like you're actually progressing somehow because you're clicking those buttons. Although the fact that I can't level anymore because I don't meet the requirements confuses me a bit. And that's three. Oh, so I need to deliver the busts so I can go back now, deliver the busts. And then I'll come back and try to figure out how to unblock the shitty toilet. What do I get for it? A book of skill. Oh, cool. Wait, what did that say? Grants a passive skill point and two passive respect points. Yeah, you don't have my respect for giving me passive respect points. Dexterity will bring me to... Ooh, increased life, maximum life, flask recovery rate. No, 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 no. Stay on track. I am going... Plus 10 dexterity, whatever. It's fine. It doesn't feel as fun though, you know, to put points in dexterity. This guy is called, I hate this game, help me. Is this an actual cry for help? Anyway, back to the sewers. This seems like a good area to build a hideout. Are you serious? Is this a new hideout place? I'm in the sewers doing a quest. I take a right, you know, it says go left. I take a right and suddenly she's here and she's like, this would be a really good place to make a home. Please kill every monster first. All right, okay. Is there going to be an explosion? Oh, there's a boss. Yes, more things I cannot use. Uh, keep going on. I hope I'm not screwing myself over by not picking these up. Hideout unlocked. Why not? So now I'm in my undercity hideout. Oh my gosh. That's great. Entering the marketplace. Not the friendliest marketplace. So my next quest is to go sever the right hand, right? This is my assassination job. No problem. Level 29, more dexterity, why not? Is that who I think it is? Is this um, a beast for the hunt? Yeah, let's go. I think this is my favorite part of the game. <laughs> Cool. Capture the beast with blood. Just normal stuff. Oh, there's four beasts on this level. See, this is just a cool little mechanic. You think you're doing something and then you're, this kind of pops up and you're like, oh yeah, cool. More things to do, more ways to XP. And of course, more ways to use the menagerie. I wonder if Path of XL 2 will be open world rather than closed like this. Oh, this is weird. I've done the whole map. Have I? Have I done the whole map? Maybe I haven't. Oh, it seems like I have. Waypoint, yes. Oh, so this is the catacombs. And where is that going to bring me? I, I've got no quests in the catacombs, so I'll keep going until I do have quests in the catacombs. Oh, there's something over there. 
ornate chest. Return to the ship gra graveyard in Act 1. What? Oh, that, that's interesting. Ooh, superior deerskin gloves. I'll take that. These are way better. Ooh, adds lightning damage. It's so hilarious that, like, gloves add lightning damage to me. I would expect that from a weapon, but not gloves. I will go back to Act 1 in a second to return that decanter. This way? The b the battlefront. There's a war going on? Oh, wow. Yeah, you definitely feel like something happened here. Oh, I hear the clashes of weapons. Is this like a never-ending fight? Never-ending war? Let me tell you, it's not gonna stop with me here. Quite the opposite. Something here. Blackguard chest. Ribbon spool. You have obtained the ribbon spool. Travel to the Solaris Temple. All right, I will. I don't even know what the Solaris Temple is. Am I in the right place? That's what I want to know. Yes, southwest is where I need to go kill the captain. Oh, lots of people, lots of people. This is another thing the game does really well. The density of mobs at any given place. Oh, I'm gonna die. No, that was stupid. That was so stupid. Oh, he, what is that? He dropped something super rare. I need to check it out. Buckskin tunic. It's orange. That must be good. Okay, let's check it out. 98% increased evasion rating. I mean, okay. Does that mean I'm just untouchable? Cannot be ignited. Fire resistance. Yeah, I'm all for it. It looks great. Oh, it's the same buckskin tunic, but this one is Ashrend. 100% uh, increased physical damage with ranged weapons. Holy smokes. Oh, but this one has all my stuff. Rain of arrows. Where am I going to put that? Well, I might have uh, upgrades a normal weapon. I remember there's something to add. Upgrade a normal item to rare item. Can I do that? No. I know it's a rare item. I don't know why I did that. Uh, reforges the number of sockets. Yes. 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 Okay. So I've reforged. I got some red space here connected to green. Okay. Okay. Think. Think. This is where the game slows down for me is when I have to think. So I want to change the links to add more. Yes. Reforges the links. Right. See, like, this is great. Look at all these links. Look at all the, all the linking I'm about to do here. Okay. So take this out. Yeah. Take this out. And now suddenly I don't have prismatic burst control anymore. But I don't care. I have reds and reds mean I can support rain of arrows with this strength damage bonus applies to projectile damage. I mean, I don't have strength, but I'm sure it's still helpful. And that's it for now, but I am quite excited. How do I look? Oh, okay. See, now we're getting somewhere. I'm on fire. Anyway, it's, I'm very happy. Thank you. Thank you, company who made this game. It's time for me to look for the captain I'm supposed to kill. Assassinate. Strange choice of words, considering there is no stealth in this game. Oh, I got a rare quiver. Let's check that out. Rare penetrating arrow quiver. Let's go. 16 dexterity, increased attack speed, which I love. This is, this is going to be a game changer. I can throw the other one out. Oh, oh, what the heck is going on? I'm literally froze. When in doubt, ballista, ballista. That's what I say. That's level 31. Let's continue our journey down south. There you go. I just got those two upgrades on my gear and then the game just completely opened up considering how last episode I was struggling. This is so much better. Travel to the Ebony Barracks. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. I didn't even realize. Oh gosh, okay. Let's jump back into the battlefront and try to find the actual exit I'm supposed to take. What is this? This bridge is blocked. Find another way. Impressive. Okay, I'll try. Oh, the undying blockage. Okay, so we've got two things stopping us here. One here is this bridge. The bridge across is blocked. I appreciate the tooltip, by the way. Or the sewer blockage. So what do I do? Tell you what, I'll completely discover the whole map here and figure out if there's something I can do. And then if that doesn't work, I'll just go back to the sewers and figure it out there. Do I want to go to the Solaris Temple? Yes, I do. My mission says I should go, so I'll go. Level 32. My gems are leveling, leveling up, which means I'm unlocking whatever I needed. I was blocked earlier on, but now I'm free. So the Solaris Temple level 2 goes down. Mm, it's an inverted temple. Well, this is nice. A little cool. I kind of love the, uh, this Greek kind of vibe going on. Skeletal Shrine. What does it do? Skeletons are summoned to you. Oh, nice. That's cool. I haven't seen that before in this game. I have friends. I only have him for 20 more seconds. That's a shame. Who's, who's this? Oh, you're a bit scary. Oh, I, I helped you. My pleasure. I'll get some dexterity. I like you too. And I get a virtue infernal talk. A virtue gem is a raging thunderstorm imprisoned within a single raindrop. Eh? Burn the undying blockage with the in infernal talk. Yes! You are making me a very happy man. So travel to the sewers. But first, this eternal laboratory. What is this? I should check it out. Hey, new crafting recipe unlocked. Which I don't know how to use it. That's okay. 
All right, let's go back home. Okay, multiple things to do. First of all, sell. Okay, very exciting. Uh, I can go back to the sewers and unblock the blockage. Undying blockage, here we go. Oh my God, I'm just not gonna even comment on what this is. Ah, uh, crafting recipes, yes. You're probably wondering how I got to you, huh? Well, let's just say I had a very powerful drain unblocker. Okay, here we go. Ballista, ballista. The general is right here. Ooh, he's badass. Yo, what is going on? He's nearly dead. Come on. Aha! I got some gloves. Back to camp. You are the true spirit of the Makoru. Yes! No! Why green? Damn it. Okay, okay. Let's see if there's anything I can use to support. Blade flurry, wild strike, fire arrow, no, blast rain, mm, scourge arrow, channel to infuse an arrow with chaos. That, that actually looks quite fun. Okay, I'll take that one. Although I've got nowhere to put it. Although my caustic arrow, I never use it. So maybe caustic arrow just doesn't matter right now. Maybe it's scourge arrow that needs to happen. Oh no, that's not at all what you were doing. Oh, I got it wrong. I, I do use caustic arrow. It's my main source of damage. Okay, Herald of Agony, Grant's above. Yeah, Alchemist. From, yeah, there are, these are great. Okay, okay. If I'm, I'm sure there's a way. Look, let's, oh, what's this? Chaos Orb. Reforges a rare item with random modifiers. No, I don't, I, I don't want that. I want things that allow me to change the orbs or add orbs. Does that make sense? There you go. Let's reforge them. Give me green. Maybe it doesn't change the colors, actually. Okay, okay, okay. This is confusing. What happens if I do this? No way. I have it. It's available. It is. Is it? It's not. It's not available. God damn it. I need more green and more green. Eventually, I will. But I do have these reds and all that. Can I? But these are by themselves. They're useless. Give away my ballista. I can't do that. I just can't. Despite everything else you've done. Oh, I gotta kill Piety. That's a shame. She seemed cool. She said she liked me. That's the first thing she said. She also said I wasn't a cockroach, which in my book is an absolute win. I've been killing a lot of people, so if I can save her, I'll do it. Okay, I have to find the thing again. That's fine. When I say the thing, I mean the stairs. I need to find the stairs again to get to level two. There we go. Temple level two. Oh, and it's the first um, points I get to put into life or whatever I want. So I can go into flasks. I can go into mana or I can go into string. Where do I want to go? Oh, there's a bow mastery here. Okay. Well, maybe I could start with that then. Um, flask buff. Why not? Why not? Get some better flasks. Let's keep going. I need to find piety and I need to kill her apparently. But if I can, I'm not killing her. Boots? Yeah, these boots are better. And they've got green. Let's go. Okay. Identify the boots. Put on the boots. The boots are on. Not very accurate to what I'm seeing here, but whatever. Oh, I don't have 27 intelligence. No. Boots stay off. Oh, here we go. Where, is she dead? Where'd she go? Okay. I just got four different gems. Wild. Connected blast. Oh, they're all blue. So blue is magic gems. Oh my gosh. Anything I want to use here? Royal bow. See, now you have my attention. Oh, bone bow. Bone bow? Wait, I need it. Bone ring. Requires 80 dexterity. That's a good start, right? The damage isn't as powerful as the one I have right now, but I might be able to create it. Does that make sense? So this is already a magic item. So I need to upgrade a no rare item. Doesn't work. This is not normal rarity. This is already rare. Why don't I just go with my, no this one here. Ooh. Oh shit. I'm gonna do so much damage. Oof, oof, oof. Although, unfortunately, it only has blues. What am I gonna do with blues? You know what I need. I need greens. Look at this, I got a new bow. It looks cool. I mean, I was already destroying these guys, so I can't imagine how powerful I'm about to get. Diala. Oh, I thought, I, I, I don't know. I, not a cockroach. Travel to the Lunaris Temple. I am in the, oh, I'm in the Solaris Temple, for God's sake. Where is the Solaris Temple? Let me guess. It's after the Ebony Barracks. All right, time to travel west. These guys are everybody straight up dying, just dying. Yeah, I'm still a bit confused as why people were so infatuated with the first video. I would find it quite frustrating to watch someone not know how to play the game I play the most. Like I'd be screaming at my screen. I mean, I feel like that's what you guys were doing because you were screaming in the comments. Press Z, press Z, pick up the Quicksilver. The Lunaris Temple found you, find piety. There's no more music, it's just whispers. There's evil lurking. I'm going up some kind of church here. Ooh, these guys are coming back as zombies. Ooh, Cole, look at you. Ooh, there you go. Oh, yeah. You know that meme 
that goes like, I'm gonna, you killed everybody I loved or something. And Thanos is like, I don't even know who you are. This is, this is what I'm feeling. This is the vibe I'm getting with this piety boss that I'm about to go and kill. Oh man. Look at these guys. They're so cool. I love the models. And they're coming out of the blood and everything. Wait, this guy ex nearly exploded when he came out. What was that about? No idea. I'd love to be a voice actor one day, but I only do screams. That's my thing. I don't actually do speaking. Me speaking, no good. I can scream though. I can definitely scream. If you need any screams in your game, hit me up. Why am I so relaxed? It's supposed to be like a very stressful, but I'm actually just really, really chum, really calm. Chill and calm, chum, new word. So far, this is my favorite level. I hope this boss piety is really impressive. I want like a big boss. It doesn't have to be hard. Just, I want something huge. Oh, silver coin. I really need to check the silver coin things. What? I've got a royal bow and this, there's a superior royal bow that just dropped. Gosh, it's fine. I'll deal with it later. Oh, I forgot. I've got a passive point and I'll put it into field med medicine. 30% increased life recovery from frasks. Yeah, why not? Again, I'm expecting a bunch of people in front of their screams yelling at me right now. Don't go. Don't take the flasks. A bit like an interstellar at the, at the end when he yells at himself in the past. Oh, this has got to be the right spot. <laughs> Look at this. This is, this is good. This is very good row of bodies on bodies on bodies and it keeps going and going this map is huge it's a lot of bodies oh th this has got to be it this has got to be it nope okay this has got to be it yes yes rare mob over there i want to do that first what are you doing where are you going my ballistas are waiting oh my goodness there she is oh I can't save you. Sorry. I was kind of hoping I would get to choose your side. Although I'm not too sure now, looking around. Your furniture is a bit dubious. Oh my god, what is she, like a demon? Oh, she's dead. That's for sure. Whoopsie doopsie. Uh, I've got better everything, actually. But it doesn't matter. I killed Piety. She's dead. Wait. I feel like this is an important piece of gear. I should probably keep it. Return to the ship graveyard. Travel to the Sarn encampment. Okay, back to the encampment. I think so far, Act 3 is my favorite. What about my intelligence? Is it high enough? No, it's not. Great. Let's put a bunch of stuff back in the stash. There you go. I've made some space. Wow, that's a cool effect, I guess. Although I'm higher level than you. What is that? Is that a child under a rock? <laughs> okay. Unlock the scepter of the gods. But first, oh, I can't actually put a point in potion mastery. Oh, I can. I get to choose. It's not the first one. I get to choose. Oh my God, this makes so much sense. I've been missing out. <laughs> I get to choose one of these. Okay, I will take... What am I taking? I don't know. Let's go with 20% increased area of effect while wielding a bow. Yeah. Quest completed. Where am I going next? Is this the end of Act 3? The Scepter of God. Ooh. Okay, Northwest. Here we go. Hey, I already killed you. What the heck? Ballista, Ballista. He doesn't joke around, huh? So I'm not supposed to go to the temple, actually. I'm supposed to go somewhere completely different. I am also supposed to return to the ship graveyard in Act 1. I will get to that soon. Oh, there it is. Imperial Gardens. Nice. Unlock the Scepter of God. <laughs> no biggie. This feels like the kind of fantasy word with multiple gods, though. Oh, I'm finding the freaky crabs again. Mitch, what are these creatures? I'm supposed to go... Uh, no idea. The Scepter of God is supposed to be here, actually. Oh, okay. I'm just going to continue through this dense jungle, and I'll find the Scepter somewhere. I know, I know it's important, but I'm focusing on the main story right now. Oh, ooh, Armored Strongbox. Okay, you know what we need to do. Ballista, Ballista. Reign of ours, go. Reign of ours, go. Potion, 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 potion. Oh my god. That did not work, but I will try again if the game lets me. Please, please game. I am good, I swear. I actually can't remember where the box was. I guess I'm not allowed. Oh well. Oh, the box is still opened. All right, okay, okay. All right, ballista, ballista. We know the tr Okay, we know the deal. Yep, yep. Kill, kill yourself. Oh my god, this is a huge flamethrower kind of thing. Kaom's heart over there. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. And I got an, what is that? Coral ring. That looks fun. Oh, this looks fun. That's about it. Let's have a look at that ring. A token from the sea. Plus 20 to maximum life. Grants level 10 enduring cry skill. What? Do I need this? What about this? Increase armor innovation. Increase movement speed. Yeah, instant, instant, yes. Oh, and it's got a green, which means I have a new spell coming up. But I'd have to go home first. I don't want to do that. Oh, I think I found it. I'm so happy I've got movement speed on these boots. 
Does that have anything? No, ship's graveyard. That's in Act 1. Got nothing to do with the Scepter of the Gods. I've got a bunch of things that have to do with Act 1. I'm gonna have to check that out after. I still haven't found the Scepter of, of God. I think I've explored the whole map. Oh, there's more to the east, southeast. Whenever you think you've completed a map, there's always some more. This is it. This is it. Oh, the Scepter of God is not an item. It's a location. Oh, my best friend. He's down south. Making me open doors. Ridiculous. Where is he? Okay, okay, okay. If I kill this creature... Yeah, I gotta be careful. These are actually doing a lot of damage to me. He's back! Yay! Oh my god. 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 What is going on? What? Give me the royal bow. God damn it. Royal bow. It is quite not as good as what I have done. Oh well. So I've mastered this. Can I put another thing in it? No. Okay. All right. I'm starting to really get it now. Life flags gain one charge every three seconds. Remove a random element. Train twice chance to gain a flash charge when you deal a critical hit. Enemies you kill that are affected by element elemental elements. Well, I'm poisoning everybody, so probably yeah. Probably a good shot. One level at a time, baby. Let's go hunting the other creature, buddy. So are you telling me that every time I kill an enemy, my my flasks recharge a bit? Let me just use my flasks. There you go. Yeah, 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 a hundred percent. Uh, my speed flask is not recharging. Yes, it is. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. These animals have like machine guns attached to their ass. Whoa. I hope I'm going in the right direction. I've unlocked the waypoint and this waypoint is the scepter of God. Good. Level 36. Level up. So now what direction am I going in? Poison. Can't change my mind. Poison is where I want to go. Although, bow mastery. <laughs> Increase attack speed. Yeah, that's what I want. Let's just think for a second. I just hope I'm going in the right direction. I never know. I guess if there's enemies, you're going in the right direction. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Upper scepter of the gods. Yes. I'm ascending. I wonder if the ballista is necessary now. Yeah. I keep the ballista until I die. Oh, oh this is nice. I like this outside portion. Makes you feel like this place is connected, you know? Um, stairs. Yes, stairs. You gotta trust your gut that you're going in the right direction. Oh, I think this is the scion. What's this? Who's this? Hello. Who are you? See, nice little animation there. A little bit of a hop. I like that. Ooh. Achievement completed freedom. Nice. You've been in a big machine Ooh, with people in them. Story's quite dark. Like a high fantasy game with colorful thematic. Well, I don't know. Tower rooftop. Is this the right thing? Yeah, it looks like it. Keep on ascending. Oh, come on, boss. I can feel it. It's a boss. It is woman's purpose. Oh, it's one of those games. I'm not afraid. It's quite busy. This isn't the end of the game, is it? Or like the campaign. Feels like it's the end of the campaign. Okay, Dominus the High Templar. Ooh, plenty of things happening here. <laughs> oh, be careful, be careful, be careful. Keep going, keep going. Are my ballistas useful here? He's nearly dead. I can do this. <laughs> there you go, you're dead. That's it, you're done. Wow. Soaking it all in. Oh, this guy's soaking it all in. <gasps> Phase two, baby! Oh my god, what the freak? Dominant, whoa, this is crazy! Okay. I can do this. Just be careful. Oh my goodness. No! Okay, I don't have to come back so far. Man, that was something. Oh, okay, cool. I just come back here. Alright, it's no biggie. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. He's nearly dead. I am doing a lot of damage. I just have to be able to, like, stand still for three seconds. He's dead! You can take it as personally as he wants. Is there any other gear that I've lost that I haven't picked up? Uh, I don't care. Hey! Yeah. What is this? The aqueduct? Find the exit to... Yeah, the aqueduct. Aqueduct? Wow, not bad. What? Whoa. Okay, that's cool. Hey, how's it going? Yes, we're chasing creatures again. Not bad. All in all. Let's look for Highgate. Our city for Act 4. Or our camp, anyway, for Act 4. Quite a distance to get to Highgate. What is this? A bunch of pigs just appeared out of nowhere. What the is this? Okay, I can do this. Yes. Oh my god, what's going on? Wow, that was really fun. Okay, skill point. Um, so do I go for poison? And then I'll go for bow mastery later on. Okay, Highgate, let's go. Highgate, there we go. 
Wow. Okay, I'm not gonna take the quest because we'll do that in episode four. Just having a quick look around. Average town, looks good. Oh my God, there's more people over here. Oh, hi. Oh, it's our friends. A little bit weird, but friends and a tiger. Nice. So as I was saying, there is one thing I wanna do is I wanna go back to the main town in act one, because it seems like I have some quests that I should give back over there, like given. The original OG. Oh, it's so nostalgic to come back here. There's a bunch of quests. What's that about? All right, uh, let's have a good, quick look at this. It needs 40 intelligence, which means I'm never gonna be able to wear it. I need more intelligence points. And I got a new skill point, which will go straight into poison damage multiplier. Absolute win. Look at these. Jeez. When does the costume stop or start at this point? You just look a, like a ball of neons. Cyberpunk 1600s. Um, should I go to the hideout real quick just to figure out if I can understand what the crafting materials are all about? Oh, it's great. I'm here. I think I want to switch. <laughs> I don't want to stay here, actually. Let's go back to my, my lush swamp please. There we go. Got all my stuff here. Shall I try and craft some boots? Boots with increased movement speed. Craft. I need three of these. Oh, I don't craft the boots. I put the affixes and the prefixes right. I actually did have a look at this last time, didn't I? Yeah, whatever. I don't need it right now. You know what? Just for shits and giggles, I'm going to go and try and do one of the challenges at the menagerie. Why not? Why wouldn't I? I got good skills, create currency item, create a unique flask, create a unique body armor, create a unique shield or quiver. Yes, I would like to do that. Oh, right, 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 right. And then I choose the monsters. Craft. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna succeed here. Oh my God, the damage, the damage, dead, done, done, I've done it. Yes. Oh, where's my item? No, I don't want a round shield. I want the quiver. Okay, flask. Screw it. I'll make a flask. I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. And that's lost forever, isn't it? It's lost forever. I lost it forever. Gah. Now let's try and go and understand the halls of the dead if we have a bit of time. I did come here the last time. Start a match at the Eye of Destiny in the Halls of the Dead. Now I have read comments on my videos that said there is no PvP here. If you guys have been lying to me all this time, mm -mm. I will not be impressed. The Eye of Destiny. Participate in the Trial of the Ancestors. A silver coin is required. I can do that. This is not PvP. So I, I fight people from tribes and I get stuff for it like for example this thing all right what the hell is going on what is this what 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 is this what in the world is this oh my god oh my god i have to learn another game in this game throws cold spells from a distance why don't you be my escort honored warrior why don't you be my attacker big lizard you will be my attacker uh, you will be my flanker start this is actually super exciting if this is what i think it is oh my god this is cool. Uh, it's not PvP though. <laughs> Maybe you guys were right. I don't believe it. You don't. You don't do damage. You're not killing me. You're not doing anything. Maybe this is level one or something. I'm stuck. Oh, he's back. Wait, I died. I wasn't careful. I died. No, no. This was so easy. Why did I die? Well, I forfeited the match. Well done, me. I'm very embarrassed. I'm gonna do this again. There you go. I'm just gonna kill you. Eliminated on next loss. I've got my warriors. I'm gonna screw. I'm gonna kill you. It's gonna be easy peasy. I'm gonna stick with my attacker. Ooh, quite a bit of stuff going on here. I'm not dying this time. What is this? What is this blue stuff? Oh. Win the game by banishing all of your opponent's ancestral token. Okay, this is an ancestral token. How do I banish you? And to click on it. Okay, so it's not simply a killing thing, is it? There you go. All right, banishing this one. Oh, I have to hold it. I'm dead. This is not happening. Oh my word. Nobody's rezzing me, of course. Okay, I'll just kill this Rakiosa. One, two, three, easy peasy. Attacker, flanker, other flanker. So you have to defend your posts, basically. That's what I'm getting out of this. Oh, so if you're hit while you're on the po totem, you are stunned for a while. This is crazy. There we go. There we go. That's one. Yes. Nice. I'm going to have to kill her again. Unending. Absolutely unending. Unbelievable. There you go. You're dead. You're dead. Forget it. Oh, man. This is going to take days. Come on. Oh, my God. How is this supposed to work? It's going to take forever. Uh, what's the opposite of fun? What are you guys doing? Where are my friends gone? Oh, they're destroyed. Okay, kill this one first. Boom, done. This one next. It's cool, I can do this. No, I'm about to die. No, I can do this. It's gonna take forever, but I can do it. Ooh, it's like they have one less res. Now, there you go, this one. If I get this one, they get one less person that they can revive. Right, they only have the one, so now I can just focus on her and kill her. And again, go. I'm gonna have to kill her one more time, for sure. Nope, maybe not. Hey, there you go. 
And I win favors with all these tribes. Nice. Oh, that was fun-ish. Oh, quests. Oh, this is kind of fun. You get to talk to them. They get to say, well done. Yeah, this is fun. But that's not where we're at right now. We're in Act 4. If there was a battle pass for this, I would buy it at this point because I'm com I'm committed to playing the game. So, Although I don't want it to give me any unfair advantages. So let's have a little chat about how Act 3 went. First of all, I had a lot more fun here rather than in Act 2 where I felt a bit frustrated. There was not there was no real changes going on with my equipment or my skills. This time around, I dropped some unique items. It really changed my DPS and it just made the experience a lot smoother. The quests themselves were as usual, good. Graphics are good. So far, I'm enjoying myself and I'm actually looking forward to Act 4 now, which I will play soon. Yeah, I want to say that the menagerie is really exciting. The hideout features are fun. And even that buried halls of the dead thing, I didn't think I would actually check it out, but I did. And I found a system that wasn't too hard to pick up, although a bit tedious. Maybe I'm a bit early level. I'm too early leveled, I think, to go do it. But I like the idea that you have this side activity that you can do, which I completely thought was PvP, but it wasn't. And you, you get to rank up with different tribes and everything. Like, yeah, I like that. The experience is getting better and better as I go along. That's what I, I want people to take out of this video. Anyway. Anyway, we'll see you in episode four. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you could leave me a comment on this video to help me with the algorithm, tell me what you think of the Path of Exile. Tell me what, what I've missed. And yeah, thank you again so much for hanging out with me today. I really, really mean it. And we'll see you again very soon for another video. Also, is there emotes in this game? <laughs> you guys need to tell me. All right, we'll see you later.